Hi, this is Tali and welcome to Builder.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California, and I'm standing at SMA America's booth with Jeffrey, and he's going to talk to us uh, about their new residential inverters. So Jeffrey, how are you? I'm great. Thank you. Great. So uh, I see this inverter behind me. Can we, can we talk a bit about it? Sure. This is our new um, HF series inverter, and it's substantially different than what we usually make, which are, is our US series inverter. One of the main differences is obviously the form factor. Our inverters are much wider than this typically, so this one's narrow. And the reason for that was we wanted to be able to make one that fits inside stud base. This actually can mount in the wall a new construction. So the beauty of that is in new construction, sometimes in new housing divisions, they ask for a solar option to be made available to the homeowners that might buy those homes. What this allows you to do, these are sold separately, is installers can go in during the normal electrical rough-in stage of construction and they can mount these pans in the walls and run, they can pre-wire basically their wires into these areas and leave them there. And then if the homeowners do choose to have solar installed, when they come back they can drop these in and everything's ready to go. So that's a huge advantage uh, for the installers. Uh, the other advantage is that it's a high frequency transformer, so it transfers uh, DC to AC at a higher frequency rate, which allows you to have a smaller and therefore lighter transformer, which makes these units lighter than our normal units. So that's huge. Another feature is we have this brand new display here, which is graphical. And the neat thing about that is not only does it display a lot more real-time information and historical information, but traditionally our displays have been powered by the DC side of the inverter, meaning the displays are on when the inverters are on. So when the sun goes down at night, uh, the power goes away, the DC power goes away, so the display goes away. So in the summertime, you always get home in time to see how much power you made that day, but in the wintertime, the inverter is already asleep by the time you get home, and you don't get to see what you did. So what these inverters do is they still run off DC during the daytime, but at night the power for the display changes to the AC side, which is always present, and so the display is on all the time. So when you get home, you can go any time of day and look at the power that you've produced. That's really cool. The other thing is that these come now uh, with blue group Bluetooth integrated in there, so they're ready to communicate via Bluetooth, either to one of our communication products, to another inverter, to your own laptop, Maybe we can get it to talk to your phone someday. So, but Bluetooth's in it right out of the box. You don't have to buy a communication card for that at all. So, um, what's what's this knob down here? This is the DC disconnect. They're integrated in here, so this is a, a requirement that you need to have. That usually you have to bolt on externally. We build them in, and so you can power off or on the inverter with the switch. So it's not another component that needs to be purchased and then plumbed into the inverter. Um, the other nice thing about this switch is that if the inverter needs servicing for any reason, once you've mounted this, it can remain in the wall and you can remove the inverter itself from the switch and not have to take the switch and your wiring to that switch out of the wall to service or change out the inverter. Can this inverter actually communicate with the installer to let it know when there are any issues they need repair? Yeah, the, the fun thing about this is that if a, an installer gets a job, say, for a whole subdivision, they all talk Bluetooth and he can go out there and he can he can look at the performance data of all the systems that he has and if he sets them up to post that data to the web he can do it from his desktop and he can look at his neighborhood and the beauty of that is is that you can a lot of times a performance issue will crop up that the homeowners are unaware of like a tree has grown in the last year and it's shading the array or something fell on it, there's some debris or something, or the neighbor puts something up or that's blocking the sun. They may not notice that right away, but he will. So the installer gets to come over and knock on the door and say, hey, I noticed your performance is down, and we'd like to take a look and see why. And they're like, wow, didn't even know we had an issue. So that's pretty cool. Um, SMA America is the subsidiary of SMA Solar Technology AG in Germany, and they've been in business since 1981. And Next year is our 10th year in America, so we've been doing this a while and we're known for our, our quality and, and being uh, uh, technically adept, and uh, so I would say that sets us apart as well. And you were also saying that they're lighter, so they make for an easier installation? Yeah, the high frequency transformers are smaller, they need less material to do their job, so um, to make a conventional transformer, a low frequency transformer, really efficient, you put a lot of copper in there, copper weighs a lot, the inverter weighs a lot. High efficiency, you can do it with less, so you reduce the weight of the inverter.
Great. So how do you ensure quality on your in your manufacturing? Uh, it has four basic steps there. They have um, well, our board stuffing process there. They have um, optical checkers, which actually look at the boards and make sure that the part uh, exists, um, that it's the right part, and that it's soldered correctly. And that's, that's huge. Then it does a circuit test where it does continuity and parameter checks where it'll check two to three hundred different points on the board and it should see a certain value when it connects these points together or it kicks it out if it doesn't. Then it goes through an electrical safety test uh, before the technicians start to handle it to make sure all the grounding is proper and everything to keep them safe. And then it gets hooked to our test bay which basically replicates a solar day in a compressed fashion. So it doesn't take us all day to do a solar day. It runs through a normal solar day in a much shorter time and stresses it and gives it errors and that sort of thing. Okay, so what's uh, the company's distribution channel? Um, typically we sell through uh, large distributors who then resell to the installer. Um, some installers grow rapidly or large enough to become direct. Uh, there's, it's basically volume based, but typically we go through very large uh, distributors, integrators, and then they resell either kits or the individual products to the install. Wonderful. And when will this product be available on the market? Uh, Q1 2010. Okay, so you were mentioning to me that SMA is now opening a U.S. manufacturing facility, so can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, that's that's something really exciting. We announced that uh, Monday this week, and uh, starting early next year, we'll have a production facility in Denver, Colorado, and it's the first production facility outside of Germany. Um, all Right now, all the engineering, design, uh, and manufacturing takes place in Germany, but Starting next year, we'll have a factory in Denver that'll have a capacity of about one gigawatt, and all of the all of the engineering and and that sort of thing will still take place in Germany. But what we're going to do is replicate our manufacturing technique. I mean, almost perfectly mirror it here uh, to give us a gigawatt capacity, and uh, that should create about 300 jobs right out of, of the bat, with potential to be up to 700. Uh, when it's running at full capacity. Jeffrey, thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by. This is Tally from Builder.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you for watching.